Hey guys, I'm Marty Geek. In this video, I'm sharing with you guys some gameplay for Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus. Um, here we are playing on the PlayStation 4. Um, gotta say, this game looks amazing. Uh, I was playing actually Assassin's Creed Origins. Ori Origins? Origins. <laughs> and uh, I decided to go ahead and pick up this game because I was getting a little frustrated with the Assassin's Creed game. And, um, oh man. I gotta say, There's since I started playing this here. game on uh, today's what? Today's yeah. Saturday. I started playing this game like four or three days ago. Um, I haven't been more advanced, you know, more ahead in this game because I've been busy doing other stuff. But I gotta say, really, really, really awesome game. Really been enjoying it. Um, so right here we enter at Papa Joe's restaurant and we got a freaking Nazi walking in. <laughs> yeah, baby. Good day, ma'am. You, one strawberry milkshake, please. Oh. Yeah, but so this right here, I think I think this is like almost four or five hours uh, from the beginning of the game. Um, there is right before this game video, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people have seen before in advertisement, and especially the the first uh, trailer. We actually saw this scene right here uh, played out, but. Um, I thought it was actually in the beginning. It's you, it takes uh, it takes a whole bunch of hours before getting to this point right here. Um, and <laughs> uh, it's kind of weird because look at my pictures on the wall. You got my pictures on the wall. You got my pictures on the TV. So of course my face is gonna be familiar. <laughs> mm. I love strawberry milk. You love strawberry. It's perhaps my favorite American thing. Uh, so well, I love just chocolate chips and ice cream. <laughs> the rest of the menu, however, I think you will need to address. Yeah. I think it needs to be more. So yeah, like I said, I was yeah. playing uh, Assassin's yes. Creed Origins. <laughs> um, I gotta say, I am really liking. Uh, before here, I said I was a little bit, hmm. um, you know. A little bit uh, right here that you down six. with that game because of the controls and all that. But on that game, I can six. I fin finally learned that you can actually oh. switch <laughs> your controls to our ten alternative controls, and that totally helps out a lot for Speaker? those people that don't want to use the shoulder Come buttons on, to attack. That helps out a lot. So, but, you know, I picked up this game and I really like it. You know, honestly, I was gonna not gonna pick up this game because I was gonna wait for this game to come out on the Nintendo Switch, uh, which actually was confirmed by Bethesda and Nintendo. Nintendo actually confirmed it in one of those um, mm. Nintendo Direct. I can't remember which one mm. was it. I think it was the Direct for Mario Odyssey. Um, they actually confirmed this game with Doom that's coming out this coming week right now. Oh! Oh, oh man, he had to do it. He had to do it. <laughs> man, you couldn't be wearing a mask. Okay, so you look like William J. Blasters to hide your alien space lizard facial traits. So. So I this mean, game, also, this game has an amazing game. story. Right. I really, really love it. Off I really love the story that it has. Show me your um, but when it goes to cutscenes, this is how it actually switches. You know, like you see the letterbox out. look uh, on the top and on the bottom. <laughs> Who is you, Terror Billy? I'm just fucking. Uh, which looks pretty cool, but it looks like more cinematic. You know, right there, I just cut the cut the cutscene because this cutscene right here almost went for almost ten minutes. So uh, right now, I'm cutting the cutscenes. That way, we can short make the video a little bit shorter. And you know, that way you guys can also appreciate the cutscenes as well, which I'm actually showing you guys enough. So people actually tell me to shut up. But I just want to share my opinion about this game, you know. Well, whatever it is, it ain't Martians. Nobody knows for sure exactly what kind of technology we're dealing with, but it's most likely. I like this. I love this because I am a huge fan of of the you know the Area 51 controversy and all that. I love it. 
fucking conspiracy when I see one. <laughs> no, okay, I'm not saying it's space aliens, right? But it goes without saying it's fucking space aliens. <laughs> Well, right now we are here in this game. We're actually in Sun in Roswell, New Mexico, okay. which is really cool. I live like uh, cool. I live like four hours away from I Roswell, and I still haven't been there. Grace told me um, that you know where I to hope go. I can go. You get me uh, in there, I hope I can go to blow the top within the year because uh, her is pretty cool. Yes. <laughs> yes, of course. That sounds. So good. I'm here to help. <laughs> Papa dug these tunnels to the underground train system that connects So yeah, the I cut the cutscenes and and believe me this guys, this cutscene right, right here goes for almost people. more than ten minutes I right. I think. Yeah. And but you know, I wanna show you guys some gameplay, I'm gonna have to cut it. And some people actually like to see the whole cutscenes, but you know. Hey man, we got so little time here and I don't like to make the a lot of people don't like long, long, long video game video games and other videos things. so now I'll keep in touch on the radio help you out yeah baby so right now we're gonna go ahead and start playing hey we're gonna infiltrate Frosty <laughs> we're gonna infiltrate the underground tunnels that are like right below uh, Roswell and supposedly those tunnels connect you to Roswell area 51 and Nevada and all those places So here you got weapons right here. You could customize the weapons right now. I want to get the suppressor uh, You got extras I see there already upgraded these weapons a little bit, but you could keep on upgrading the same weapons. Keep going down that tunnel, and you'll end up at the Area 52 cargo train loading depot. And I gotta say, it to does look really good. This game actually lo trains. looks really damn good. And um, this week, I think yesterday, Call of Duty Civil War or uh, World War Two actually came out. Uh, I haven't picked Come it up, on. and I also haven't He's seen reviews me. for the game. You think they can see? Uh, like I said before, I'm not a huge fan of playing, so online fall. multiplayer games, but I always liked, I always liked uh, playing um, Call of Duty story oh, missions. So if any of you yeah, guys Rocket out there trains, are no. actually starting, already started playing um, Call of Duty, the new one, uh, let me know how is the story. Is it good or not? How long is it? I would like to know because I might pick it up and just play the story how long it is because if it's if it, I like short when it comes to Call of Duty I like short story modes you know five six hours that way I can finish it in a rental and that's it <laughs> you know but let me know guys how long is it if you already started and of course I'm gonna ask it anyways is it better than Wolfenstein 2 which uh, honestly the first the story mode I don't think so I don't think so. I'm sorry, but there's no way. Uh, this right here, the story mode for uh, Wolfenstein. I don't know how long it is, because like I said, I'm barely. I'm, I think I'm, I'm like five or six hours in the game. Uh, but I think I heard that this is like uh, 12, 15 hours or 16 hours of story mode, which is really good. That's my type of story mode length. Okay, look at this. We got this monster right here, which is very, very good. Especially convenient when you're fighting those huge ass uh, enemies, like the big ass robots. You, these weapons will take them down just like that. I don't want to make too much noise. Now that, what I like what they did here, on Wolfenstein, you could be very stealthy. Uh oh, uh oh, don't shoot, motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god, I thought I was gonna actually shoot. Oh, look at this, I got an upgrade kit, which right now we could go ahead, you know what I want? A pistol with the suppressor. So I'm gonna use that option to unlock that. There you go, now I, got, now I have a pistol with the suppressor, which is awesome. This is good, like if you want to do a lot of stealth missions, this is great. This is awesome. But, you know what? But, we're going to need that huge gun. So that's the problem. We, we can't, you have to be carrying this gun around on 
to at least you deplete the. Uh, there you go. You got a lot of shields. Um, another thing about this game, it has like one, two, three, four, five, six. I think this game has like six or eight difficulty levels. It's insane. If you play this game in normal mode or in uh, in uh, hardcore mode, mode, oh my god, it, it, it's a it's a nightmare. You're gonna get killed so much. But but luckily, luckily, this game has a lot of difficulty levels. I don't know how that gonna affect affect the game. Oh, oh look at this. We're gonna stuff. Oh crap! Almost screwed that up. Oh my god, almost screwed that up because I didn't get it properly. I actually, since I was far from him, I actually threw a, oh, a axe. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go, boy. So we're getting some rounds, some health packages, shields. There you go. Um, also, you get trophies. You get trophies here for um, doing... I don't know, specific amount of takedowns, stealth takedowns, combat takedowns. Um, also, as you keep on doing that, it keeps um, upgrading your skills. And um, it's like perks. So if you incline yourself playing in stealth mode and, and taking down like combat mode, um, you actually your perk and your gameplay style actually adjusts to that. So that's one thing to keep in mind. That's why I like doing these. Oh, <laughs> I like doing these takedowns a lot because it it's actually helping me out upgrade my character because it it upgrades the skill and it gives you, for example, like if you reach level two. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, if you reach like level two or three, you can actually your, your uh, health re regeneration come um, upgrades faster. Um, it gives you a lot of perks. It gives you a lot of perks for playing the way that you like. Same thing goes if you go out playing like, um, like all ass combat. You know, if you play like that, it's actually gonna help you out. It's actually gonna improve your character in specific ways. Oh crap! Oh, <laughs> that freaking dog! I gotta kill that guy. There you go. I'm gonna press this. So right here, there's a whole bunch of stuff to collect. There's a whole bunch of stuff to collect here. Let's get our weapon back again. Oh crap, there you go. Oh yeah, just like that, boy. <laughs> Man, this feels so satisfying. Yeah, let's see if anybody coming here. Oh crap, crap, there you go. Headshot, heavy weapon kill. Like you see right there, see it pops up heavy heavy weapon killed, twenty something out of something. So if you keep using like heavy weapons, it will also. Oh crap, we got killed here. Okay, there you go. We got killed there, but luckily, oh crap! Why did I throw a grenade? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Sorry. I just threw a grenade, almost blew myself up. There you go. There you go, man. There you go. Like, see there, heavy weapon killed, 50 out of 60. And that's one thing about this game. Even if you keep on dying, it will keep recording your kills, your stealth kills. So if you keep on dying, don't worry, because your, your, your levels are, are intact. So it doesn't matter how many times you die, your skills are going to keep upgrading. So, in a way, sometimes, in a way, I don't care if I keep dying a lot, because I'm still... Okay, there you go. You gotta kill this sucker. You gotta kill this sucker. There you go. Right now, I um, actually don't want to go crazy, wasting... There you go. Oh! As much as I can here. I don't want to go crazy wasting my energy because I don't think there's a. I'm not gonna be looking for a station to charge this. Get some more health. Oh, 
Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, is that somebody there? Nope. There you go. There you go. Ooh. That was like a headshot with the weapon. Okay, where are we supposed to go? Okay, I think we gotta get in here. There you go. There you go. Okay, now we gotta go up front to the controls. So we are in one of those trains. There you go, we got a new weapon here. This is a new weapon. We never used this weapon before. It's like a, I think it's like a shotgun. Because we're collecting like uh, big rounds. Take this guy down. Oh, I don't know if we can take this guy down. It's too big. Uh oh, uh oh. Yes, we can. Overcharge kill. Okay. Huh. I, I didn't think we can take these guys now. There you go. Oh. They're huge. And they are loaded with weapons, bro. Uh oh. How the fuck they saw me? How did they see me? Oh man, this feels great. Yes, baby. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna waste rounds on you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, yes, baby. This weapon feels great. Holy crap. This is the first time that we get to use this weapon. It's basically like a shotgun with three barrels, right? It has like three barrels. So it's super powerful. Oh, there you go. Oh, man, these kills are freaking awesome. Oh, my God. Look at that. That's awesome. That's freaking awesome. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. So, there you go, guys. Um, like I said, this game is really damn awesome. Um, and uh, one thing that this game actually reminds me of... Um, when I li listen to the story and all that, um, there's a TV show on Amazon Prime called uh, The Man on the High Castle. Of the High Castle or On the High Castle. The Man on the High Castle. If you like this video game, I recommend to sit down and watch that season. Watch season one and season two. Season one is awesome. Season two is okay. But watch season one. It's amazing. It's something like this game. Uh, United States is basically uh, governed by the Nazis, and on the west side, it's actually governed by the Japanese. Um, it's amazing. It's amazing um, season and alternative reality. It's so crazy, and it's really, really violent. And I recommend you guys, if you like this game, go ahead and watch that season. Season 1, you're going to love it, and most likely you're going to want to watch Season 2. And I did watch Season 2, and I'm right now I'm waiting for Season 3. So guys, that's it for this video. I just wanted to share this little gameplay with you guys. Uh, like I said, right here, I think we're going to be dying. I don't think I'm, I have enough health here. But guys, thanks for watching the video. Like, like I said, very good game. If you like action-paced first-person shooters with a great story, you have to you know you have to support these type of games so it is violent but of course that's the nature of wolfenstein so hope you guys like the video guys till next time